My father was a great carpenter. How good well he built our own homes for us, every part of the house. Dad always said to me, Larry, you've got to have the right tool for the right job. And when I look at traders and investors charts, I say, oh my gosh, not only do not have the right tools, you have way too many of them on. That's the first error I see most people are making. They have my William percent R and they have stochastic, they have Bollinger percent bands, whatever. It's all saying the same thing. It's so confusing. You have all these indicators in your chart. And the, the success of this business is about simplicity, not making it complex so the more indicators you have, the more difficult it is to make a decision. There are really only a couple of indicators that I have on my charts. I'd like to explain those indicators to you. First of all, I want to have something that helps me measure trend. So I could use a 50-day moving average, or I just eyeball a chart that we're in an uptrend or we're in a downtrend. Not that complex. Then I will have one, what I would call an overbought or oversold index on my chart. I like to use Williams percent R. I mean, after all, I developed it myself. It's been around a long time, used in every country of the world. So it's a really good indicator to tell you, we've been rallying too much, we'll probably pull back, or it's now time to be a buyer because we're in the buy zone. So it's an overbought, oversold indicator. Then I want to have an indicator that measures a professional accumulation coming into the marketplace that could be on balance volume. It could be my uh, POVI, price open interest in volume, or my Williams accumulation distribution formula. Those are available in most all of the softwares. And I want to see when buying is coming into the market, supporting price, when price looks weak, or when price looks strong, there's actually selling coming into the marketplace. So that's the second indicator I want to look at. I also clearly want to look at a seasonal tendency in the market. So I have a seasonal chart so I can see should my stock or commodity be rallying right now based on the seasonal tendency. Are we weaker or are we stronger now than the seasonal pattern? Obviously that gives me a lot of information about what I should be doing.